This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Tenson versus Tenson. Uh, you all have married. You've been together for five years. You have three children between you and ten children total, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And allegations of cheating are jeopardizing your happy home. Yes, sir. Ms. Tenson, you've opened up this case today against your husband. Tell us why. Well, Your Honor, I am a good woman. We have ten children together, and I just want to get to the bottom of why he's cheating. All right, Mr. Tensa. Yes, what are you here to do? Well, I'm here to prove today that I'm not a cheater. Okay. I don't want to cheat on you. I love you too much to cheat on you. Okay. How could you even bring me here and say that I'm a cheat on you? Well, you. like this. She brought you here and says you cheat. <laughs> and there must be a basis for it. Have you always had these suspicions? What was it like in the beginning? Well, in the beginning, Your Honor, he was very romantic. It seemed like after we got married, um, maybe the tables turned a little bit. But, you know, I work long hours, so when I come home from work, he'll have my bath water ready. Um, he would rub my feet. He surprised me and buy me wigs. Your Honor, <laughs> I love my wigs. He buys you okay? wigs? Yeah, yeah, I love my wigs. I buy a lot of things for Judge Cutler. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever bought you a, a wig. I don't know that I, I you trust clothes. you I with the wig, you. Mr. Cutler. <laughs> I'm not even... You, you're wonderful with the shoes, with the purses, with clothes, yeah. but... Jewelry. Um, Ju oh, jewelry. 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 You're jewelry. very good with jewelry, but I'm jewelry. not sure I would trust you with a wig. But it's just the thought that counts, you know, the little things. What, what did you love about her? What I love about my wife. She sang for me. My wife makes songs. So I know she loves me because they come straight from her heart. Now, see, she sings for him. You don't want me to sing to you because I can't sing. If I sing to you, it will hurt your ears. All right, tell you what, I won't buy you new wigs and you won't sing for me. How's That's that? A, that? Is that a fair <laughs> trade? Bet. All, right. All right, bet. Okay. How so, do you go from buying wigs to accusing your spouse of cheating? Tell you, Your Honor. Um, first, I was, I was, um, pregnant with our ninth child. What? I was, um... I was having pain, so I went to the hospital. Okay. Uh, they ended up keeping me, and I ended up having a baby. My husband was there. Yeah. Um, but he was so yeah. adamant about, you know, going home and, you know, dealing with the other kids. So he left, and I get a phone call from one of my friends telling me that um, they just seen my truck pull up to my house, <laughs> and... Um, another female was with my husband going into my house with a white shirt and some booty shorts on. What you say? So, That's I don't want to get mad true. at the lady, no, you know what I'm saying, no. for telling me this. So, I just tell her, okay, I'll call you back. So, I call my husband ten times, Your Honor. I will get through. So, friends probably about the 11th marriages. or the 12th uh, time that I called him, he answered uh, the phone to reassure me that, yeah, you know, he wasn't doing anything. Uh, she's lying. She's jealous. Um, she's just hating on me, you know. So, I just hung up because I didn't want my pressure to go, you know, go back roof. up. I'm ready to go home now, right, you know. Right. So, um, they came and checked my vitals. I ended up having to stay another two days. So, every time that my, cut, my husband would call, you know, I wouldn't even, you know, talk to him on the phone or anything like that because I'm trying to get this pressure under control, you know, so I can go home. So, um, whenever you have a baby, you can't just get released, you know. They won't just let you go home by yourself. I have three, so, so I know. I, they notified my husband to come on up there and, yeah. you know, come get us. First, I don't see his face at first. I see his shoes. He got huh? on his gaiters in a full suit. <laughs> and he got his haircut. Now, let me tell you about what? the haircut. Now, for the longest he's been talking about cutting his hair, you know, for um, a better him, you know, and to be a, a new improve for his boys and That's to set right. an example, you know? True. So That's when he true. come up there and he all dressed and impressed and his hair cut like that, I know he guilty. <laughs> so you Look, think... Well, you're in the hospital. Yes. Having his baby. His baby. He's there for a while, mm. but then he leaves, says he has, needs to go home and check on the other kid. Right. But then you get a call. Mm -hmm. And somebody says they see him going into your house with a woman in a white shirt and some it's booty a shorts. Black booty shorts. Black booty shorts. All right. Mr. Very specific. Very yes. specific. Mr. Tenson. Wow. Who was the woman in the white shirt and the black booty shorts? Exaggeration. Okay, did a lady come to the house? A lady came to the house. What did she come to the house for? To do my daughter hair. She didn't come to do you. No. <laughs> no. 
ridiculous. But you believe something else went down. Yes, I do. Why do you believe that? Because, Your Honor, let me tell you about another time. Um, when we were, okay, I was at work one day and I called my husband on my lunch break and my husband told me that he got his taxes. So I'm all excited and happy because, you know, my man got his money, his taxes, and I How much did he get? In my mind of what I'm gonna spend and, you know, what I'm gonna do. When you, I'm you already home. spent the money. Right! So, you, so wait, you, wait, wait, you got... how, how much did he get? $4,000. Four thousand dollars. Yes. So you were for real getting ready right. to shop. Okay, all right. So you, I didn't know if it was four dollars, four hundred dollars, but four uh, thousand dollars. Okay. So you already spent his money. Wait, let me. That's let me what we do. Hold that's on, don't act funny. So, I thought you were the only one who did that. No. Yeah. It's in our DNA to do that. As soon as, as, soon as your man gets some money, you already spending it. Tell I'm a, I'm a, no, no, I'm helping you invest in a wise way. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Oh, that's oh, what I call it. Wow. I get a call. I'm on my way home from work, mm. uh, from the school, saying the kids never even got picked up. So I just, you know, no problem. I just go get the kids. All this time goes by, and still no husband. I didn't see him again until Friday, 12:30 p.m. Uh -huh. So I'm so what happened? Check out time. So what? Oh, check out time. Check out time. Yeah. All right. What, well, what happened when you did see him? He had this bogus excuse that he was in a room with these two girls. Remind you, why are you even in a room with two girls? No, no, that they... ain't what happened. Mr. Tinto, hold on, no, 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 that ain't what happened. Mr. Tinto, hold on, we hold on, we we on, we we gonna give you a chance. We we'll wanna hear her side. So they supposedly robbed him. Two girls, they robbed him. Robbed him of what? All the money. He ain't got no money. $4,000? Right. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why were you in a hotel room? Okay, okay. I got my taxes in. I went and got us an in. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. You got us. Who's us? Me and my wife. Okay. I want to do something special for her. You were going to do it up? I was going to do it up. Okay, so what happened? So my wife had like four more hours to get out of work, right? Right. So I called my homeboy. I went, I, I went and picked him up. I wanted to show him in the room what I was doing for my wife. He got people knocking on the door. I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna embarrass So what like happened to the money? What happened to the money? We got there. We got there. We got there. We got there. Well, we got the party. You got the party we with got your the party. homeboy. All well, I homeboy meals. I woke up the and next the day. One and, the hold on, hold on, Mr. Simmons. You said we got the party, so that's you, your homeboy, and whoever knocked on the door, right? And whoever knocked on the door, they were female, weren't they? They were females. See, I told you. Females. I knew it. I knew it. Females and males. Yeah. They were friends. They were females and males. And the next thing you know... I went to the next morning with my pants on the hood, no cell phone, no money. So you know what I do? I go home... But wait, wait, wait. What happened to the money? I don't know what happened to the money. I got some things here y'all might want to see, some evidence. Rob, would you get that evidence, please? Yes, this right here prove that we got females all over the world. Oh, hold on, hold on. Give it the... Yeah, just... All over the country. Uh-huh. Robbing males in hotel room. You got proof of that. I got proof of that. I did research. Mr. Tenson, these... These are newspaper articles. Exotic dance... Wait a minute, what's that say? Exotic, Exotic dancers, dancers rob, rob old man in right. his hotel, hotel suite. room. Right. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Next one, men robbed while they slept by two women in Manhattan Hotel. Anything oh, Okay, you so you, you did this research to show what? <laughs> to show that I got robbed. Because this is happening all over the country. It's an epidemic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me this is all you have. No, your honor, I what got else you got? more. <laughs> okay, um, my husband always saying, you know, I never give him any time to himself to be with the boys, you know? So this particular time, boom, I tell him, go, go hang out with your boys, go, mm -hmm. you know, have exactly. you, you time, you know? That's Three o'clock does. A.M. comes, my husband's still not home. Let me show you what I had to do at <clears> 3 o'clock <throat> in the morning, Your Honor. Okay. You have an exhibit, so what? go ahead and show us. What? At 3 o'clock in the morning, I was calling the taxi cab. This is where we at, at home. Okay. We go to the first <laughs> motel. Okay. No car. No car. Okay. No husband. We get in the... I get back in the taxi. I go to the second motel. No car. No husband. All right, then where you go? Get back in the taxi cab. We go to the third motel. How many motels did you end up going Hold to? Hold on, let me get to that. No car. Yeah, slow your roll. No husband. 
four. Y'all five, know, six. we went to seven more motels. I get to the 10th motel. No. And that's where I see my truck at. That motel. It took me 10 tries to get to this. That's your truck. That's my truck. Park at the Park hotel. At hotel. In front of the hotel. What did you do when you saw your well, truck? Well, it was this lady hotel. that kept on peeping out of the room, right? So I'm thinking, you know, she must got something to do with it. She keep on looking, you know, at, at me and peeping at the car. So I go and kick the door in and look up under the bed and look all in the bathroom. You peeked in the door yeah, in the hotel and, room? And I put myself in danger because this lady could have did anything to me inside of her room. Come to find out, she didn't even have anything to to do with it. She didn't even know who Larry was. I'm not a cheater. So, so she finally telling me I need to just get out of her room. So I'm, I'm taking now. I'm, I'm looking like the crazy one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this lady's room. Soon I step out the room. Look who coming around the corner. There's Larry coming around the corner. <laughs> okay. So I just told him, just give me my keys, and I made him walk home. I got in the truck and I left him at that hotel. All right, step back to the podium. Mr. Tenson, when your husband tells you that he's going to hang out with the boys, and then at 3 o'clock in the morning he's still not home, and then she finds you at a hotel, that's not paranoia. That's actual facts. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> what? Who? Who were you at the yeah. hotel with? I was at the hotel room with one of my partners. One of your partners? One of my partners. See, well, one of your a partners, female partners? Female? It never just, it never stopped. It was a male. Come on. Now, you gave me permission. Why can't you go to a, to your a house club, and hang out? Sports Why can't bar, you go to the club, club a strip a club? Bar, a, I don't go club. nowhere. Why are you suggesting a strip club? A strip club, hotel, which would you prefer? Neither. That's, <laughs> that, I'm just saying. I'm not picking either one of them. Don't suggest a strip club. I think we've heard enough evidence. I do, too. Because this is what it looks like. While your wife is pregnant having your child, you then go home where you're spotted with a woman wearing booty shorts going into your house while your wife is in the hospital. The tax refund that you lost because this band of women somewhere, you know, lured you to a hotel room and took your money, and all of this because you think he's cheating. Yes. And if you do find out he's cheating... What's gonna happen? Where does this relationship go? I want a divorce. You will end your marriage. Yes. Do you understand that? This is me. I understand that. All right. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> At this time, the court would like to hear from private investigator Eric Eccles. Ron, please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Good day, Mr. Eccles. How are you? Good afternoon, Your Honor. It's good to see you. Good. Tell us what your team did to investigate this case. In this particular case, my role was to pose as a litigant coming to court as if I was a person who was also cheating. My goal was to get Mr. Tenson to feel comfortable enough to talk to me to see if he also was cheating. Were you able to get any information out of him during your investigation? Yes, Your Honor, I was. Um, it took him a minute, but eventually he started talking. What he said to me was actually very interesting, and I brought the tape. She said, I had sex at the house. Now, I ain't never had sex at the house. So you had sex somewhere else? Right. She okay. think I had sex at the house. So if you... If you're a Okay. So he confessed? Yes, Your Honor, he did. So it wasn't sex at the house, it was sex at the hotel. Went at the house. So you had sex with somebody else, it just wasn't at the house. It was at the hotel. Sorry. I told you he was a cheater. What you mean well, you're sorry? You sorry for what? I'm sorry for making bad what you decisions. Sorry for that you got caught. I'm not sorry for being caught. I'm sorry for being a cheater. You know, but you came in here and said, "I'm gonna prove I'm not cheating," and then you sit down with part of our team, get to talking, no, no. and drop the bomb that you are in fact a cheater. 
And even as you're apologizing to her, if that sounds fake, all I see is, oh, shoot, you caught me. No. Tessa, and I no. see hey. tears in her eyes. Hey. Why are there tears in your eyes? Because oh, this is a repeated thing. You can't feel my pain. So it's just like nothing to you. It's like, you do it again. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I can't do them and say I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. But what is more you can do? You can do more. What do you want him to do? I do whatever you want me to do. What you want me to do? Want you to my stop. family mean more. How? You mean more. How, man? How? Yeah, I just made bad decisions. Miss Tenson, let me talk to you woman to woman. I'm not suggesting you just kick him to the curb. But with that said, I'm not asking you to lay down here and be a doormat. And I would encourage you all to speak with Dr. Jeff and figure it out. As we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a happy, healthy, trust-filled relationship. It is so important. This court is adjourned.